blessings upon blessings, everybody. It's been a while, don't it? It's been a while. There, man. One bull. Boy, COVID licked me down one day, brother. I know I did for link up, you know. Hannibal. The general Hannibal, man. Yeah, man, they are same way or up same way, you know. Give thanks, it's been a while, star. <clears throat> but you see, two all COVID clap me down. Hear some information and share your opinions and get the item perspective. Want to know where I go on? You know me, I say. Really want to know where I go on, man. Because one moment we can there, I said that something ain't real, and then <coughs> when it leaked down. like me you know <laughs> I have to shut up and, and work to it and, and reevaluate your thoughts right yes keep can go on man can <laughs> so you know what do you think about this COVID thing my first question more ask what everybody think about this COVID thing? You think I'm gonna forget get it for you really believe say it exists? I'm gonna forget know someone personally who die or get the real afflicted by it. Because enough people have it and not show symptoms. <coughs> enough people have it and not show symptoms, right? So before everybody believes say it is it, it, something for me taken serious. It means it means tell me say the whole away I forget it. <coughs> You know, because I know what is, I know what is a flu, I know what is a cold, I know them, I know them thing there. Get mullen. Boy, Hannibal, the amount of things people tell me, forget the amount of things me take, the amount of bush tea me drink, the amount of um, <clears throat> vitamin A, B, C, this and, and all of these stuff me take, bro. The amount me take everything. There's not one thing where me not take. about that scatter did you get the astrazeneca <laughs> all right first and foremost me not vaccinated because me know that the question they've been coming at me like for forever <clears throat> you know so i'm saying when i got this infection or whatever when i got it when me get it the first day when i feel affected i never think it was covid none at all i just check somewhere i come down with something Actually, get up the morning. I never feel so well. I'm gonna have breakfast. Oh my god, me and Joe gonna have breakfast and me and him are and thing. And by the time I'm done, drink something and so forth, I say, No man, this is not real. I'm gonna come out of the office and I say, You know what, I'm gonna go home. And um, go home and say, I'm gonna sleep it off and get up about midday. <laughs> when midday come, weak, cold set, I wash me. 
You know what I say? Cool set of wash me. Giants them stiff up on them. Say me, I say you wanna me this. You know, feel right. I said to myself, I wonder if I got the COVID something let me catch. You know? So, I said, I'll go and ride it out for the rest of the day. Next morning, I get up and call my doctor. Doctor come to my house, come check me. Push a little something up on my nose, and my two nose them wibble it up. And um, I'm do, I don't know him do a little tab something, there, but in space, I like 30 seconds, the man said, Yep, here it is. Sure sign. And this one is look like a real serious heavy case because it not take no time for sure. That the doctor said to me, you know, Mr. Wills. And um, he said, Rah, take me off COVID time, can't believe it. You know? Girlfriend start giving me the side eye and where you gonna catch COVID? <laughs> Come in again away. Apart from my business place and they are down so I'm not gonna away. <clears throat> you know what I say? So, alright, I say, yo, I'm going to ride it out. People are calling me and I tell me what to do. I'm not really telling nobody still, but I'm going to tell a few people where they can give me some insight, you know. So, I'm going to send, go get my bush, then I get my ginger, I get my turmeric, I get every damn thing I could get. I have vitamins, all of them stuff there. I have black seed oil, I have all of them stuff to put on already. See? I start making the tea and I start drinking and I say, you yeah, have to keep yourself. Yeah, Clear, you have to keep it clean and keep on flushing it. That's the first thing I heard. So that's what I was doing. I was drinking a lot of tea, a lot of bush tea, and them stuff there. Right away, my appetite cut. Appetite gone. By Friday morning, this happened the Wednesday. No, the Thursday, I get diagnosed officially. And by Friday morning, my appetite gone. Sense of taste gone. Smell gone. I mean, I drink the tea them same way and... Um, baby, what, you have extra board cam board, board up them window yet? I'm not sure that serious. Well, not, you know, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Bidi here says it's a breeze fast, no, me here says it's a hit the right. It's a move very slow, but... If you need to blow, for board up, me make them do it. Please. Alright, mama. Yeah. You have enough to love? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. So by Friday, I tell you, it clapped me. See? It clapped me. I lose the sense of taste. Um, I start to get very, very weak. You know? start to get very, 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 very weak. I could hardly walk, go up the stairs. If I walk up the stairs, I'm short of breath. <coughs> See? So, I said to the eye them, with them symptoms that me get, because I'm not consider myself an old man. I'm 44 years old. I never expect it to attack me the movie there. Because I did always know say. If it's if it's something like that, I can't catch it. Because I swear I did catch COVID in a 2019 November. You know, I did get a piece of flu there. I just lay me up on my joints and stiff and all of them stuff there. And I did ride it out in a space a week. Good. So I figured if I catch COVID, it's the same thing, you know? <clears throat> so anyway, the way, the, the way to deal with me now, by over the weekend, folks, I lost, I lose all my appetite. I don't want nothing to eat. <clears throat> and no matter how you're, you're hungry, Everything we have to eat, callaloo, banana, all of that something. Then, like, I get up one morning, I only eat half a finger of banana. I only eat half a finger of banana and like a callaloo. And I let me eat for the rest of the day. Nothing else for the rest of the day. No food me don't want. Nothing. See? So, I lose about five pounds a day. Because I'm a man love eat my food. I lose about five pounds a day. I <clears throat> get weak and get weak and I try to eat and. You know, my woman, God bless her. You know, she 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 look out for me. You know, like she look out for me. And she never abide by any rules. She come in her room and do everything when she feel. Like. She not wear no mask on me. She not do nothing. She just want me to get better. She make the tea give me. She come check in for me. But COVID is like a. May I tell you, it's it's like a alien entity invade your body. And that may I tell you, idea. Because I don't feel like myself. Imagine you have to try to find some source, some way to breathe properly. Like if I cough two times, it's if I breathe right after my cough, impossible. I can't, I can't. No breath, no breath. No breath. See? And I don't understand how the elderly, 
um, survive something like that because me a big strong big strong man me strong <clears throat> and if me cough two times and me can't breathe for like two minutes after that a problem so me don't know how the elderly them you know big up the people that me got through COVID and, uh, 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 and not get big up on yourself you know but me I tell you not, and everybody has fortunate telling y'all and everybody has fortunate bro seeing because me get the whole of the sign them I get diarrhea, I get vomiting, I get fever, I get loss of taste, loss of sleep. Hold on the people, let me switch over. Sorry, I don't know why somebody keep calling me. Yeah, as I said, I get all of the, I get everything, I get diarrhea, I get the vomiting, I get the, 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 the loss of smell, loss of taste, the, the my weak, you know, um, the coughing, the fever, and the most dangerous one to me was unable to breathe. And when me I got through them stuff, them, me I realized, say, yo, elderly now, them can't manage that, 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 that sickness here. Yeah. And people with underlying sickness, people with asthmatic, them now got can't manage that thing yeah. See? And me count down the days, them go down to, me count to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Them said the, the first eight to ten days are the most serious part. Well, up to 10 days, I feel like me are dead. Up to 10 days, I feel like me are dead. Torment. I come out of my apartment, I walk. Walking at the sun, which I get some of the sun, early morning sunlight, like 6 o'clock. I walk for 5 minutes, and if I walk for 5 minutes, I blow short. Short a breath. In the hours in the night, like 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I go get some of the night here and walk a little bit again. Shot a breath again if I walk, go down the scheme and come up back. I shot a breath, I blow shot. Can't walk, go up the stairs, everything, all of them things, eh, bro. Make up my mindset, no matter how sick I get, I'm not going to hospital. Make up my mindset, no care how sick I get, hospital now. See me? Jamaican hospital, I don't think they're equipped for dealing with COVID, serious COVID patients. And I, I don't want to be a strain on the system. I don't want them lock me in a room and hook me up to a ventilator and leave me there to possibly die. I'm not saying that's, that's going to be the case, but I've heard stories. And I think it's best you stay home. If it's not as critical as it, should, as it is, or it can be, stay home and take care of yourself. You know? My case is not, I don't think me is a special case. But me just think, say, as somebody of influence, I need to talk about it. The same way I will speak on <clears> how <throat> oh, unsure I am of the vaccines and conspiracy theories and agendas. I think if I do, if I do get the, 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 the disease, I have a duty to come and speak and say, yo, people, be careful. Because this shit real. You know me I say? My brother them. Everybody were out there, be careful, this shit real and I know everybody are gonna lucky enough to get it and blow through it. It affects every aspect of your life because if you lock down for like two and a half weeks, it means your income stop right. That's it means means a man have bills. <coughs> I have bills that I have to pay every every other day. And I have to stay up on top of my business. Saying and when you're when you when you when you get totally incapacitated like that, bro, and you can't get out there and do your supposed to do if you keep the wheels turning. It put you in a different perspective and make you over and say, yo, you have to warn people because not everybody have the luxury of having a good home for even stay in for one 14 day, right? And everybody have to have somebody to take care of them. And everybody have to be able to take care of themselves. So you have to be very careful. You have to be very careful because imagine, you sick, they womb with COVID and your light cut off. All these things running on my mind, and I say, if me as a man never have my thing structured certain way, I don't know how this thing would work because I have a lot of responsibilities. Whole lot of responsibilities. I can't afford to be sick one. Me can't afford to be sick for a week. The amount of responsibilities where I have. I'm not supposed to sick. See me, I deal with So I have to warn my brother them because. It's not all about partying and fun and them stuff though, because remember me, if you get lame up from that something yeah, it's going to affect your whole family, it's going to affect your lifestyle, it's going to affect your responsibilities. You understand me? So, I ain't going to come on here, on here <coughs> if you say, 
tell a man run go take no vaccine or not. I don't tell nobody where for the word that is concerned. I'm not buying to no conspiracy theories or nothing. I just tell the people them said, yo, COVID thing ya, it real bridge and you can't afford to catch it because you don't know how far it's gonna carry you. See? Me strong, me healthy. The only thing me do that is that work against somebody is drink alcohol and smoke and smoke marijuana. That's the only thing. And I smoke a lot. <clears throat> so maybe that affect my respiratory system and that contributed to the, 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 the how impossible it was for me to breathe. You know how much people smoke hard, boy? Yeah? You know how much people smoke every day around the clock straight? Catch COVID now, they say you're going to test your system and your lungs and your, and your respiratory system and see how it match up but if you catch COVID. So nobody feel like say you can't get afflicted in the worst way because some of the little simple things they would do for pleasure. It works against your body when a time when you get a sickness like COVID. Alcohol, it has been it has been 21 days since I take a sip of alcohol and I don't start smoking again as yet. You understand me? But I tell you this now, you see even when you when you when the doctor come back and test me and I'm saying I'm free of COVID, bro. That shit gone with part of me. COVID take with part of me. Seeing? It take a piece of you. All is not well with me. Something missing. I know some weak and all of these things and I have to build up my strength and eat back some whole heap of food. But bro, it's like me and myself. It take piece of me. Something I go on. And if it's not man made thing, I feel so it really take something from you. I'm going to look at an idiot and ask me if I get paid to do that. Bro, it take a piece of me. And that's why we have to come talking you know, because everybody here, you know, you know them around come saying, oh, no, you're an agent of the system and you're a rate, rate, rate. <laughs> You understand me? And if you come talk for the people, them overs are gone. Up to now, I don't tell no one to take no fucking, um, no damn vaccine. It is not my intention to take no vaccine. But I have to tell the people, them say COVID is real, ja. And I have to tell them to protect themselves by any means necessary. And if me get up and take the vaccine tomorrow or the day after or whenever, that are my business. Me not care when none of no I say. Me not live to please nobody, especially you know, conspiracy theorists, have no one have no one ideals and, and and perception of what is going on. But a man like me you know, will never be able to control and try back in our corner and intimidate. I not telling no one what to do and I don't need no one to tell me what to do. You understand me? So nobody come on here and ask how much them pay me in you know, a dark and ignorant dark and ignorant and stupid how you feel how you feel a man sick and I come to tell the people say yo but it's sick right here you know I mean I want my bridge in them I want to get sick to say yeah hear me I want to be careful all of a sudden a man is an agent of the system because he come telling us say yo you know rather, you know, rather me come do you know rather me come and talk about and beat Andrew Olness and tell him free up the place and they were and talk all of them things eh? but once somebody I talk against the things that on the mind is kind of opposed that you know not want to hear it you know is better you know is no better than the Christian name in the church where you try to speak some facts to and actually atrocities of religion and them just say me don't want to hear it you understand me you know if you stop looking like foolishness man me, me, there's quite a few people within the industry we pass based on COVID related issues Barrio here Barrio here I know a lot of people don't know but Barrio here was the main producer slash engineer technician down at a studio named Ocherius Grove Entertainment IRFM studio IRFM the radio station and from IRFM inception and them build them studio Barrio here was a chief engineer right there. Great engineer, produced 
some of my, uh, some of um, Garnet Silk, them best song. Mix some of Garnet Silk, them best song. Cool dude, man. know him. Bridging. And when me hear say him, him dead based on COVID 19 related issues, I couldn't believe. See him? Nice youth. 